consequences. It also denied jobs to hundreds of thousands of Americans. Emotions ran high Tuesday as dreamers, advocates and supporters gathered in downtown Phoenix to hear the news they knew was coming. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals policy, commonly known as DACA, has been rescinded by the Trump administration. One of them, Ricardo Zamudo, is a dreamer and says it's a bitter pill to swallow, but the DACA fight will continue. It's shocking and it's painful to hear these things, but when I look into the room and I look at my colleagues and everybody else that's, that's part of this work, uh, I see the, the, the power and the resiliency we've had for a long time. Peter Juarez, communications director for One Arizona, a pro-immigrant advocate organization, said dreamers have the strength to face what may come next. I think all the young people that have grown up in this movement are super prepared and know what to do. They're strong and yesterday is a sad day, but they are ready to move forward with this decision and the planning continues. With their future potentially now laying in the hands of Congress, nearly 30,000 Arizona DACA recipients now face an uncertain future. These things are, are, are not just a political game, it's our lives. And that we need to think of those things as that and, and not a football game that, that we're playing all the time. In Phoenix, Courtney Malley, Cronkite News.